Hey guys, welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. We are out here right now in the beautiful community of Chula Vista and we are out flyering. So we're out flyering the community. Um, typically that's what we do here. So, and I just wanted to jump on the camera and kind of talk to new agents out there. Um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative to mailers, which I don't think, I, I've never been a huge fan of mailers. One, they cost a lot of money. Um, two, you don't really know when they get delivered or if they even get delivered. So um, the cheap alternative and the more effective alternative, in my opinion, is flyering, flyering the community. And that's something I kind of wanted to jump on here and talk about. Um, if you're a new agent or even if you're a seasoned older agent who's been in the business for a long time, I think it's super important to come out, enjoy the air, walk the community. Sometimes you run into uh, neighbors or people who live within the community, especially on the weekends if you're out flowering and walking, you get to meet neighbors. And I think it's a good way to, you know, open up your, your opportunities to, to connect, to get new business. And one of the things that I like to do and uh, me and my team like to do is every time we have a sale, every time we have a new listing, we typically go out and flyer anywhere from three to 500 flyers. Um, sometimes we don't do them all in one day. Sometimes we kind of split it apart. But, uh, but I think it's important because get your name out there and just think about the likelihood of your mailer or I'm sorry, your flyer getting picked up at the front door. So what we do is I put him on envelope. So either I'll put in, um, I'll write on it in the, I don't know if you can see that, dear neighbor or hey neighbor, or if we just sold a property, we do look what your neighbor did and we leave him on the front door. And I think the possibility of, of any of the homeowners around here to open it is almost 100% in my opinion. I don't know those numbers. I, I don't know how to keep track of those numbers. But what I do do is, depending on how many flowers I dropped off, I jot everything down. How many did I drop off? What was the community that I dropped it off? And I'll jot them down in notes. And if I got any calls, I'll jot that down as well. And um, I've actually gotten listings and buyers from, from just mail dropping or flyering. And um, I just wanna jump on here, like I said, if you're a new agent, this is a cheap alternative. One, you get to walk the community, you get to see the homes, you get to potentially meet neighbors that are out walking. And two, you get a good workout in. Uh, you know, it's a three, four, five, sometimes even six mile walk, depending on, you know, if it's single family homes or if it's, um, or if it's town homes or if it's condos. Uh, those you typically kind of run through them pretty quick. But, um, but it's something that I've enjoyed. I've been doing it for three years and I, I continue to do it and will continue to do it. It's something that I advocate a lot with um, with a team because um, like I said, we have a printer at the office. We'll just print out the flyers. Um, in case you don't know this, here's a little secret. If you're at a real estate office and you're like, Manuel, like I don't wanna handwrite, you know, dear neighbor, which was what I was doing, outside of every single envelope. Well, I learned a little secret, which I don't know, maybe it was just like dumb me or I don't know, maybe you know it as well, but you can actually print on envelopes through one of those like commercial printings that typically most real estate offices have. Um, you can actually print on them. So I'll print on, I'll, I'll write on one and then I'll just make copies of it and, and I'll just print on them. So now it's cut down my, you know, my, uh, what do you call it? Like your time putting flowers together, also like folding them. Manuel, I don't want to fold three, 400, 500 flowers. It takes a lot of time. And so I bought a folding machine that typically folds 50 flowers in about um, 20 seconds. So I literally cut down a lot of the process of, of doing these flowers because just even thinking about like, okay, I got to print out 500 flowers. I got to fold them. I got to put them in envelopes. Just the thought of that was like, okay, I don't think I'm gonna flyer this week. So now I kind of streamlined the process and now it's so easy. And I've typically, my goal um, this year starting was flying uh, twice a week. Um, and like I said, you go out, you flyer, you walk the community, you get a good workout in, you get to know the neighbors, you get to see, you know, kind of get a good feel of the walkability also as well. You get 
some nice views and uh, it's something that I, like I said, I really enjoy. It's something for new agents. If uh, if you're new to the business or if you've been in the business for a, for a while, this right here, these flyers are a good, um, a good weapon to have in your arsenal because sometimes you're out. And I mean, this, to be honest, this year, if you saw my video, my past video, where I'm talking about it's not all wins. This year started out kind of slow. Inventory is still relatively slow uh, or low. Um, rates are creeping up, but still it hasn't shunned away buyers from wanting to buy. You would think that like, oh, rates are going up, rates are going up, and buyers would just all of a sudden fall off. And they've actually been doing quite the opposite. They've realized that rates are going up and they're like, well, let's just jump on the buy wagon and kind of start buying property. So, um, you would think otherwise but no it's uh it's actually uh brought out even more buyers but the thing here is at least here in san diego which is uh where i work and where i sell real estate um is uh it's actually brought out more buyers but still inventory is really really low and by the way if this is your first time on my channel um my name is manuel sanchez i'm a real estate agent professional real estate agent out here in san diego just recently started my uh my team the ms group and uh it's a learning curve um, I, I brought you guys along with me. I told you guys that I started a team. It's been awesome. It's been definitely something that I've enjoyed. It's a lot more work than anyone will ever think. Um, someone depending on you now and looking to you for advice, for, for guidance, for mentorship. But it's something I really enjoyed. But going back to flyering, um, you might ask like, okay, what kind of flyers are you doing? Well, typically when it's a new listing, I sometimes drop even three flyers. I'll do a coming soon listing, I'll do a just listed listing or flyer, and I'll do a just sold flyer. So these are three drops that you can do in the same neighborhood. That's if you have a listing. Now, with uh, listings being so low, um, I, I've been doing it also for buyers. So for my buyers, every time we close, we're like, hey, we close on this property. If anyone, you know, you're looking to, to buy or sell, you know kind of i'll put down all my information um and i design these flyers where it's like why sell with manuel since that's my slogan sell with manuel and my instagram which i'll link right now sell with manuel um so that's typically what i do with buyers okay but you're a new agent you don't have a listing you don't have a buyer what do you what do you put in the flyer so the thing that i answer to all my my agents is put a write a flyer about just introducing yourself to the neighborhood flyer your own community flyer new communities flyer your community around your office and say hey my name is manuel i just want to introduce myself i'm a real estate agent here in san diego would love to be your uh point of or source your real estate source or point of contact if you're ever looking to buy or sell the market is hot right now there's so many things you can write and it's just a simple simple letter you don't have to be all fancy with it and typically what i like to do is i'll put my logo i'll do the dear neighbor and then at the bottom i'll put my photo and my information and that's pretty much it it's pretty you know uh pretty easy and like i said i'm flying right now here in chula vista my own community and i'll put dear neighbor hey neighbor i live on this street and i uh, just wanted to reach out if you ever need help regarding real estate i'm your guy so it's something really simple really i try to make it as non-salesy as i can because i hate hate salesy letters where it's like i have a buyer or i'm a cash buyer so everyone sometimes brings out those uh hey how are you, Pretty good. How are you? Good. having a nice run today yeah 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 awesome take, take it easy sure. so um anyways <laughs> see so you just get to meet neighbors out walking out running especially on the weekends I, that's why i like to fly around the weekends either a saturday or a sunday morning today's sunday morning it's nice and quiet people are home people are actually picking up these flyers and um and that's one that's another thing it's like think about it on the other end if you're a homeowner if you're renting right now how many times have you received mailers and you're like oh i'm gonna call this person like never i typically just grab them and toss them in the trash but but if I had an envelope that said on the outside, dear neighbor or hey neighbor, I would be like, I would open that thing in a heartbeat, be like, okay, it's singled out. Someone literally dropped it on my front door and I'm gonna read it. And once I read it, I'm gonna bring it into my house and typically they either throw it out or they'll just leave it on the countertop. And it's just kind of something to think about. It's, 
your goal is here to get your name out there to to get into the house right to have the flyer sit on the kitchen counter even if it's for a few days couple days couple hours but for them to kind of see that and then after that i will typically um do a geo-targeted uh instagram post so that way they'll see my flyer they'll see me dropping off my flyer then they'll see me on social media as a geo-targeted post within this same neighborhood and be like hey i just saw that guy's flyer oh okay so he must be out doing and working and kind of doing his thing so that's really important to to the neighbors and to everyone out there who you're prospecting to let them know that you're working like you actually do this for a living you're a professional agent and let them know why they should work with you why because i'm the hardest working agent and there's no other agents flying on a weekend or doing open houses on the weekend so that's something that's really has been really important for me where it's like I'll, I'll even put in the letter hey i know it might be random that i just literally uh some random person came up to your door and dropped this off but but guess what this is what i do this is my business no one will outwork me my my work ethic is like no other and i think for sellers and buyers i think that's really important that they can depend on someone who is a professional agent that either works with a team that has a team that has a mentor that works with a good brokerage that doesn't do this part-time and so um anyways that's that's kind of what i wanted to run down and say i'm gonna finish off dropping these flyers right here because i still have like 300 200 more i don't i don't even know i typically no actually i had 200 today i probably have like 100 left so like I said, I jot down how many flyers, where I dropped them, and if I got any callbacks. Anyways, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, small little vlog. I was I had my camera out, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film a vlog for you guys. I'm gonna let you guys know what I do on Sunday mornings when I'm not holding an open house. So anyways, hopefully you got some good information out of this uh, vlog, and if, uh, if you didn't, I don't know, just hit the unlike, I guess. But more on that hit the like hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace